Okay, today we're going to look at two new rules, sine rule and cosine rule. And you use these if you don't have a right angles, triangles. So if you don't have a right angle triangle. Okay. And they start off like this. Call the angles capital letters, A, B, C. Opposite the capital A is side A, small letter. Uh, opposite capital B is small b. Opposite capital C is small c. So capitals for angles and small letters for sides. And the sine rule goes like this. It's side over sine the opposite angle equals another side over sine the opposite angle. So what that means, I could have side A over sine A equaling side B over sine B. Or I could say side B over sine B equals side C over sine C. It doesn't matter which way, as long as it's a side over sine the opposite angle equals another side over sine the opposite angle. That's the sine rule. You then have the cosine rule. And the cosine rule starts off a wee bit like Pythagoras. It goes a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Then it's minus 2 times these two, bc, times cosine a. So if you start with side a, you end with angle a. You tend to use this one. So use if you have three sides, three sides given, so they tell you what the three sides are, or you have two sides and the in-between angle. Right, we're going to do a few examples and hopefully this won't seem too bad. So example one, so if I have this weak triangle and let's say this is 8x 38 and 64. You can see we don't have a right angle. So we're going to use one of these methods. Check for the cosine rule. I don't have three sides and I don't have two sides and the in-between angle. So I'm not going to use the cosine rule. I would always check for this one first. So I'm going to use the sine rule. And what was the sine rule? Tell me. It was side over sine the opposite angle equals side over sine the opposite angle. I'm trying to find x, so bring this across and it becomes a multiply. And you just put that into your calculator as it stands. So I'll show you exactly where I'm going to put it in. So it's 8 times sine 38, close your bracket, divide it by sine 64, close your bracket, equals. So x equals 5.43. Now, uh, we see now we'll try another one of those. Example two. So you've got this triangle 5.3, 77, 42, and I'm looking for this side here. Okay. Check for cosine rule. Remember the rules for it. Are you given three sides? No. Are you given the two sides and the angle in between? No. So it's going to be sine rule. So what did the sine rule start off with? It was side over sine the opposite angle. Equal side over sine this angle. So I've got to work this angle out here first. So 180 minus 77 minus 42. So 180 minus 77 minus 42 gives me an answer of 61. So that angle in there is 61. So I'm looking for C. Bring this across and multiply. So C is 5.3 over sine 61 times sine 42. So in the calculator, I always do the multiplication first. 5.3 times sine 42, close your bracket, divide it by sine 61. Gives you a C of 4.1 centimetres. Now, those are both the um, sine rule. I'm going to show you one. 
or a couple here, which uses the cosine rule. So for example, three, if you had this nine, x, seven, and 41. So if you go back, use the cosine rule if you were given the three sides or two sides and the in-between angle. So if you look here, I'm not given the three sides, but I am given the two sides and the in-between angle. So that's when you use the cosine rule. Now, the cosine rule was a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. So what's your a? a is your angle. So this is your small a. So x squared is the other two sides squared minus 2 times the other two sides times cosine the angle. Now, big tip here. Pair them off like that in the calculator. Don't put it all in one row. Do 7 squared add 9 squared to give you 130. Minus, then do 2 times 7 times 9 times cosine 41 to give you 84.5. So x squared is 130 minus my answer to give you 45.47. Then bring your square over and square root. So square root your answer to give you x equals 6.74. Okay, so 7 squared, add 9 squared, lots of stuff wrong, just double check everything there, 130. 2 times 7 times 9 times cosine 41. That's why you always double check the work, there's a lot of stuff going on, you can easily make a mistake in these. So I would get into the habit of double checking. So it's going to be the square root of 34.9 to give you an answer of 5.91. So just do take your time and check what you're doing. I'll try another one like that. So if you've got this triangle, Q, P, and R, and this is the last example I'm gonna be doing here before we practice this 5.8. So I don't have three sides, but I do have two sides in the in-between angle. So it's the cosine rule. Oh, sorry, this question, I'm looking for this here side. So cosine rule, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. So if you remember I said, a is the angle you have. So side a is where you start. So x squared is the other two sides squared minus two times the other two sides times cosine your angle. And remember I said do them in pairs. So x squared equals 6.4 squared add 5.8 squared to give you 74.6 minus 2 times 6.4 times 5.8 times cosine 114 minus. So just watch that wee minus sign there. And double minus giving you a positive 74.6 minus answer to give you 104.796. So x is the square root of that, and it is 10.2 centimeters. Now I am going to double check that because there's lots of places to go wrong. So my first number is correct. Two times 6.4 times 5.8 times cosine 115 or 114. That looks fine. So just check in your work takes a few seconds and if you can guarantee it's going to be right. Okay, so we're going to practice some of these now.